Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of GameStorm EDU. This episode is going to be about how to reskin games. And of course, you can find all these resources on www.gamestormedu.com. One thing I want to point out is that the game designer template is a great way to follow along with this video. If you go to gamestormedu.com and get, go to the resources for finding games and creating games, you can make your own copy of this workbook. And there's a section on reskinning games where you can practice reskinning a game yourself. So the question becomes, how can we reskin a game? How can we keep a game similar to its overall mechanics and how it works, but change the theme, the narrative, the storyline to it, the flavor of the game, if you will? Probably the most famous example of this, as you can see, is Monopoly. Monopoly has been reskinned so many different times. There's so many Monopolies, too many to mention even. Uh, this is an example here of Stranger Things Monopoly, and you can take about any famous show or movie, and it probably has a version of Monopoly for it, right? So the concept of reskinning a game can seem really intimidating at first, but there's lots of different ways to do it. So let's take a look uh, at some examples here of how are the roles or characters in a game similar. And let's use chess as an example. So one example might be in chess, you could say from the social studies lens, chess is like politics. Maybe if you have a strong second in command, like a strong vice president, they might be equivalent to the queen piece in chess. The queen piece is a very strong piece. The king in chess uh, is a very important piece, the most important, but it is very weak in terms of an offensive piece. So you could say that maybe the Bush Cheney presidency, it was very strong vice presidential influence from Dick Cheney. Maybe we look at chess as literature. If you're trying to compare Romeo and Juliet to a chess piece, they might be the two knights. The knights move very erratically. They often uh, are one of the first pieces sacrificed, and Romeo and Juliet both um, are sacrificed at the end of the story or sacrifice themselves for love. And they take a lot of erratic actions during the course of the play. So you might make that reskin of the knights and Romeo and Juliet. Another reskin would be the pawns being like the plankton in the ocean. The plankton are often low on the food chain, just like the pawns are often the first pieces to go that kind of feed into taking other pieces, right? So they would be considered lower on the food chain in a game like chess. So there's some examples to kind of think about it a little bit. Some examples of reskins in action on the GameStoreMedia.com website. One example would be um, the fake news the game is actually a reskin of the game Balderdash. In Balderdash, you do things like come up with um, plots for fake movie titles, or you um, come up with definitions for words that are unfamiliar. In Fake News the Game, you actually come up with fake news and try to get people to guess their own fake news. It's a very much a, a representation of Balderdash with a reskin of the topics. And another example of a reskin on the website is actually a student created game called Magic the Gathering Henry the Fourth, where a student took the characters from Henry, Henry IV and made them into cards from the game Magic the Gathering. So you can check out both those examples of reskins on the GameStoreMedia.com website and even download a copy to play yourself if you'd like. So this is kind of your exit challenge for this particular topic. Think about a game that you really enjoy. Could be any game, board game, card game, video game, and think about how you could keep the game relatively similar. You could do a little remixing of the rules, but how can you just overlay a new theme on top of it? How would things match up or not match up in terms of your topic? So that's kind of your prompt is brainstorming. Here's a game that I like. Here's how it could be reimagined. And right now you don't have to have every little detail ironed out, but maybe what is a logical connection that you could make between different games? This is a really great way to get thinking metaphorically about what aspects of a game match up with real life examples or skills you're developing uh, in your teaching or in your game design. And it's also a great gateway to think of new ideas when you are trying to design an original game of your own. So give reskinning a game a try, think about these examples, and enjoy reskinning your own game. Thanks.